So Ian, sit here as Leighton Orient manager, you must be delighted. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, when the job became available straight away, it was something that sort of, well, interested me massively. And uh, thankfully, uh, gone through the interview process and uh, got offered the job. In terms of Orient, you played for Orient as a, as a few years ago now, but um, bring back fond memories. Does it just been sort of around the club? Yeah, um, I've obviously been back a few times and uh, seen games and, and stuff, and uh, always been welcomed. To be fair, by the, you know the fans and, and the supporters that were there back when I was here when I played. Um, yeah, they, they are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. So no, no, no. It was. Uh, it's nice to see old faces when when I, when I did come back and. Uh, Again, looking looking forward to, to seeing him again soon. Mm. You played, you skippered. The next tick box was to manage the team. Something you sort of always looked to do. I think, yeah. I mean, anyone that knows me would probably tell you that I may be maybe destined for that. Um, I was always pretty loud when I was out on the pitch and shouting, and that's probably why I got the armband. But uh, you know, it's not all about the, the shouting, the hollering, the passion. I've uh, learnt, learnt a little bit as well since. Uh, Finishing as a player um, and really enjoy coaching. Um, it's something that you know I have a passion for. Um, I've been lucky, lucky enough to be in football since the day I left school. You know, I've not been out of work, so and that must say something. Um, but no, I'm I'm really pleased to, to be here, and I'm so looking forward to you know managing this club. You've got a lot lot of work to sort of get get yourself stuck into. Obviously, you've got the sort of out of contract players to talk to pre season and stuff like that, and backroom staff. But it's going to be non stop sort of for you now, for yeah. right to the start of the season. Yeah, well, I've just picked my phone up there. It's been on silent most of the afternoon, having done the press conference, and uh, you know normally like one or two calls from from the missus, um, and and a couple of text messages. But I think I've got about 40, 40 missed calls and. Text messages. Uh, I think we're up to about 25 and stuff. So, but no, you know, I, I was I'm prepared for that. It was it was like it before when I done a done a manager's job. So uh, it's something you have to deal with. So uh, no, it's uh, as I say, it's it's going to be a busy time. There's a lot of stuff to be organised. Uh, we've already started on the pre-season and, and got the first game arranged. Um, you know, thankfully they've 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 uh, moved something for us so that we can we can play them. So that's good. Um, you know, and as, as regarding the players, you know, out of contract, there's a couple that we need to speak to uh, for sure, and we're, we're actually in process of doing that today as well. Um, and then it's about building the squad uh, for hopefully what's going to be a very productive season. Mm. Obviously, been at West Ham for three, four years. It's a great experience for you to to work with somebody like Sam as well. He's a great English manager. He is. Um, it was it was it was Sam's fault. I left there in the first place. Uh, he signed me from here at Notts County, and um, obviously I went out and played for Sam. Had a good spell there, and we actually won one league two um, under Sam there in record time. So uh, it might be a little bit of a competition there if we start well and we get going. It'd be lovely to rival him uh, in the early stages of my managerial career. That's for sure. Um, but uh, no, he's, he's been uh, it's been a, a great learning experience for me as a coach. Um, I managed the, the the development squad there, and uh, I think Sam sees something in me there. What I was doing when I first went in, and, and then promoted me to to be the first team coach. And uh, you know, I'm very thankful for that. But knowing Sam as he is, if if I didn't have the the relevant qualities to do that job, then he obviously wouldn't have done that. So uh, no, you know, I've learnt a lot since I've been there, and. Uh, Thoroughly enjoyed being, you know, and working under him, um, along with Neil McDonald, his, his assistant, who's, you know, again a very uh, knowledgeable coach and very good at his job. In terms of going forward now, obviously the disappointment of last season's relegation. You've got to try and pick the boys up, everyone around the club up, and get them promoted first time round. Is that your aim? Yeah, of course. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, we are going to get promoted because I'd be crazy to do that. But you know, I'm going to keep that. That is our aim. It's our aim to get. Promotion, the same as every other team in in in, in uh, League Two. Um, yeah, obviously there's going to be a lot of disappointment, you know, with, with the players initially. They're, they're the ones I've got to work with day to day. So, you know, I've, I think a new face going in as well, day one of pre-season, um, should keep them on their toes. Um, are we getting a? There they go, the phone's gone. <laughs> Just right on time. Mm. <laughs>
Yeah, so no, day one of pre-season, uh, that, that's, that's when it starts. Um, they'll be getting a bit of uh, contact by, by a few letters in the post as well uh, to tell them what I expect when they return. So, you know, they're on their holidays, but yeah, enjoy their time, but come back fit and ready to work. Um, it's, it is a gruelling season with 46 games, um, you know, so we need to be ready and, and if they can do a little bit before they come back, before they, you know, it'll give us a little bit more time to work them on the pitch, which is where we need to do most of our work. Do you know sort of any of them from previous clubs at all or, um, like that, or is it completely... No, new? I've played against a couple, um, with the Hendersons, at this, you know, Darius, mm -hmm. I've played against Joby McEnough um, in his early days. My, my latter days, so uh, yeah, no, I've played against a few, but football's a small world and uh, you know, you, you, you get to know what players are like and you hear things, but you know, I'll take, I'll take a bit of that for granted really, but um, I'll make my own decisions on people as and when I meet them.